Okay, so today's podcast is a special one. It's mm -hmm. with the great Neil deGrasse Tyson, who has 22 honorary doctorates. He has received NASA's Distinguished Public Service Medal, the organization's highest civilian honor, written best-selling books, has had multiple shows, has worked under president's administration, done, done so many different things. The man's lived an incredible life. And he agreed to come and be a guest on our podcast today, which we appreciate you for making the time. Well, I, I happen to be driving by. I love it. It was great. It was a long drive you made. In a rocket ship, nonetheless. Uh, so 22 doctorates. Is there a story behind actually, that? Actually, no. Well, uh, this spring will be 22. Okay. In this instant, it's 21. Got it. But, uh, you know, an honorary doctorate, you show up and then they hand it to you. And I've uh, and there's always this question it's not real, you know, why, why do you even, why is it even in a resume? And then I was visiting the head of NASA a few years back and I told him I was headed off to an honorary degree ceremony later that day. And he said, you're probably discounting it in some way. And I said, yeah, a little bit, right? And he said, no, here's what it is. He said, your actual PhD, the one you earned through many years of mm -hmm. graduate school, that's the promise that you will one day do something great, but the honorary degree is the evidence you have. Wow, what an explanation! Yeah, that's a great and story. So, but but so so that changed my perspective sure. on honorary yeah. degrees. But apart from that, what I want is sympathy from both of you that I sat through 21 graduations. <laughs> <laughs> we sympathize with you, yes. Okay. Our deepest want... sympathies for you. <laughs> Which one was the best one? Was there one that stuck I'm out? Because I'm up there on stage and people, I, they, everybody's name and all the parents are taking pictures and I did that 21 times. Was there anyone that stuck out? Was there a message you heard where you said, that, that one I still remember? No, there are no messages, but I remember uh, at the University of Pennsylvania, okay. uh, that, that took place in their stadium. So it was outdoors and it felt festive because of that rather than in just some smaller hall. Very or, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so, so 22, soon to be 22. Yeah, soon to be 21 right now. Yeah. Uh, How many